video is going to be looking at cloud storage, its features and what you can use it for. So according to the specification, what you need to know is how to set and share access rights, what synchronization is and how we can use that, the availability of cloud storage and scalability and what that means. What exactly is cloud storage then? So cloud storage is when it allows you to store files and data on servers on the internet. So as opposed to saving your work onto your home computer or saving a file onto your mobile device, it's when you save your files online. So the main features of this is something called scalability, which we're gonna look at a bit later. Um, a feature where you only pay for what you are using. So you only pay for how much storage you use. Storing your data in different locations. So one of the features is that you can save your files somewhere else. So obviously that helps with things like disasters. So if your office space perhaps was to burn down or your school was to get flooded or something like that, your data will be safe because it's saved elsewhere. You also get a professional company that are managing that storage. So if there's ever any problems, you will have help at hand to help you get your data back. There's something called synchronization. So that allows you to basically access files from all different devices. And the last thing is that your data is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So any time that you want to access your data, you'll be able to do that because it's always held and powered on online. So one of the things we need to take a look at is access rights. This might have popped up in other things that you've studied in the past. And you'll definitely, definitely be aware of this if you've worked in a school environment before. So essentially, if you are a student, you are in school and you can only do certain things when you log onto the computer. So there'll be certain websites, for example, that you can't get access to. There'll be certain files that you can't get access to. And often you will be able to open a file from maybe a shared drive on your network. So teachers might ask you to open up a template or open up a document from the shared drive. But then in order to edit it, you need to save a copy of that file. So basically that means that your access rights are just read only. You are only able to just edit a, um, to open a file and not edit it. Teachers will be able to do slightly more than you and we'll be able to create files, which means we can write to them. We'll be able to edit them and we'll be able to read them as well. Then what you have is something called a network manager. You might know them as a technician or some other sort of title, but there'll be a, a room where you go to when you need help with IT. And that person usually has what they call administrator rights or admin for short, and they'll be able to do anything that they like to the files. They need full access to make sure that everything works well and works okay. So they can do anything with folders, files, all data, they can do anything that they like. So this is access rights. That's the term used. It's what access do you have? What are the rights that you have on a computer network? So one of the advantages of cloud storage is that you can do this with all of your data. So every file that you save online, you can give people access to edit it or view it or open it, or you can keep it private and have some extra security. Another feature of cloud storage is synchronization. Now, this is just a fancy term for essentially backing up your data onto the cloud. But what the synchronization does is it updates on all of your other devices. So that means that you can access files on any, any device that you use. So in the picture in the bottom left corner, you can see the cloud and we can see four different devices connected up. So as an example, say if you download a new song on iTunes, that will then update onto all devices that you use iTunes on. So in the picture in the middle, you might have seen this before where it's a syncing your library. That just updates any songs that you've added into your library so that if you go in your library in any other device, you can play that song. So if you download something on your phone, 
you'll be able to get it on the tablet, games console and laptop as well. Obviously this helps to serve as a backup of all of your files because they're all held in the cloud as well. Another feature of cloud storage is its availability. So we can access our files anytime we like, whether it's three o'clock in the morning on a Sunday or any other time of the week. And one of the reasons why we can do this is that the data is held on servers inside these buildings called data centers. Now they are special buildings that are basically housing a lot of different servers. So you can see on the picture in the top right, this is inside a data center. And we have all sorts of different servers there that will go on for miles and miles of space. So these data centers are huge buildings. They've got professional engineers that work inside them where their whole job is to make sure that the data and all of the equipment is running perfectly. Buildings have got special cooling equipment, which makes sure that nothing overheats and if there's no fires or any data is lost. These buildings are very, very reliable because the people that work there basically work on shifts to make sure that the data is always okay. Nothing breaks down and everything is accessible all the time. Microsoft have actually worked on some environmentally friendly centers. So you can see on that picture there where they're preparing to put data underwater. And the reason why they do that is to save on energy costs because they don't need to cool the water uh, the water down it's already nice and cold and it'll keep the data center cool google have actually got data centers where the workers live in the data center so they'll sleep there and they'll work on shifts and they just basically ensure that the data is always online one thing that some people worry about with the cloud is is my data secure so I'm saving all my files online. How do I know who's going to access them? Well, what data centers do is they have quite a lot of security. Some of them have six or seven levels of security. And one of the things that they have, first of all, is a physical layer. So to even gain access to the data center, you need to get through physical layers of security. In other words, they'll have security guards, bollards, barriers, where you're going to need special access cards and people to let you in. Once you're inside the data center, all of the secure files are held inside cages where you need special cards and sometimes it scans your eye or your fingerprint to get in. So they've got special locks on the doors, which are sometimes called biometric. That means it scans your fingerprint or your retina in your eye. Or they'll have physical locks as well where you need keys and things like that to get in. So obviously everything is going to be on CCTV as well. So anybody trying to break in, they'll have records and footage of people gaining entry. They also have fire protection. So there'll be um, sprinklers in the ceiling, special cooling fluid that makes sure everything stays intact so that they can restore the data. Obviously they also have backup. So you might think, what if there's a power cut and all my data gets deleted? They have lots of power backups. So this includes things like generators and batteries to make sure that everything runs okay until they can get the power back up. They'll also have backups of the data in the same site, but also in another site as well. So if anything did happen to that data site, like an earthquake or a tornado or anything like that, they would have a backup of your data. Let's take a quick look at an example. So one example of something that you could use is Google Drive. And a lot of other people use iCloud as well. But with Google Drive, this is something that is cloud-based and it uses browsers or an app. So on your Android phone or a, um, a tablet or onto your computer, you can download the app. And this allows you to just kind of drag all of your files, save all of your work onto Google Drive. And then that will synchronize across multiple de devices. So if you want to access it on a different device, you'll be able to see it there. It gives obviously it gives you a backup of all of your work. And it's actually free to use for the first uh, so much storage that you want to use. 
So for most people to just save, you know, the odd document that they want to do, some schoolwork, anything like that, it's all free for you to use. Also has the option of buying more storage. So if you do use it a lot or you want to save thousands of photographs and things like that onto it, you can obviously pay and get some more storage as well. So I've saved this till last so that you can try and get your head around how this works and what the term actually means. Scalability is the ability to of the storage system to increase in size. So I've shown this picture on the right hand side to show that the graph is increasing. It's your storage going greater to get bigger and bigger. So one reason why you as a company or even as a person might want to use cloud storage is that it has something called scalability. So this means that you've got the option to increase what you want to use. So for example, you start off a small business and everything's running fine, but then all of a sudden you start getting more and more business and you want to open up new offices and get new employees, new people working for you, and you need more space to store things. Cloud storage gives you that option. It allows you to store more data and you just need to request what you want to save. So you might just think, why can't I just do that anyway? But normal computer can only store so much data and you can only have so many physical drives. Plus, if you did want to save more things, you'd have to buy the physical drive. Now with cloud storage, you only really pay for how much you use. So as you start using more data, you'll obviously pay more money, but Usually your business will be improving and growing, so you'll have more money to pay for it anyway. So scalability is literally the ability to increase how much cloud storage you would like to use.